Hello agents and welcome to Division Day, the day where we check in on all things The Division. I'm your host Chris Waters from the Ubisoft News Team and today we're covering three games. The Division 2 and its plans for year 5 of new seasonal content, a new game mode, and a new DLC. The Division Resurgence, the full-blown free-to-play RPG shooter coming to mobile devices. And The Division Heartland, the PvEVP survival action shooter coming for free to consoles, cloud, and PC. We've got a lot to cover and we've got a Twitch drop queued up for you, so get comfy and let's get it going. We'll start with Year 5 of The Division 2. It'll start with Season 1, Broken Wings, which is bringing a new twist on manhunts and introducing a new game mode called Descent. Now, I think a new game mode calls for a new game mode trailer, and what do you know? I've got one right here. Let the sickness take them! Vision trained you to operate at your limits. This simulation will push you beyond them. But I'm confident in your abilities. Suit up, agents. It's time to see what you're capable of. Descent is a roguelite mode coming free to all Division 2 players when Year 5 begins, and that is just the start. Back to the roadmap, you can see in Season 1 the start of a multi-season rebuild of the Castle Settlement that'll bring the devastated landmark back to life with renewed purpose. Season 2 will bring a challenging new incursion as you venture out to the Merit Estate to confront the Cleaners. And in Season 3, it's back to New York City for the holidays and new revelations about Aaron Keener and his rogues. And then in Season 4, new story DLC with new zones, new main missions, and a whole new endgame structure. Keep in mind that each season will also continue to introduce new manhunts, leagues, and events. And while you'll still need the Warlords of New York expansion for most of this content, the new Descent mode will be free for all agents. You may have noticed the apparel events running throughout Year 5 as well. These will bring a bunch of new fits, as well as the return of familiar favorites. Grab that Leon Kennedy look for free starting on April 25th, and then once the season starts, set your sights on another gaming icon's signature style, Sam Fisher. As part of the premium pass for season one, Broken Wings, you'll be able to unlock pieces of the Splinter Cell apparel to help you fifth freedom your way all throughout DC and NYC. So when does this all kick off? Season 1 Broken Wings takes flight in early June, or doesn't fly because the wings are broken? I don't know, we'll find out together in early June. Now, PC players can get a little preview tomorrow because the public test server will be available tomorrow, which means you can play the new Descent mode tomorrow. As for today, there's a special sale going on in-game now through May 2nd with big discounts on outfits, 
custom weapon skins, and emotes. Marching Band 1 is uh, my favorite, personally. In the coming months, there will also be big sales on the Warlords of New York expansion, plus a free weekend to help you recruit and train up your friends to get ready for all the good stuff coming in Year 5 of The Division 2. The Division Resurgence is bringing a full-fledged Division experience to Android and iOS devices. We're talking campaign, solo, and co-op, new signature weapons, new gadgets, new enemy factions, a new storyline that bridges the gap between The Division and The Division 2. And you can be among the first to play The Division Resurgence during an upcoming test phase this summer. Sign up now at thedivisionresurgence.com for your chance to get into the test. Go ahead, just open up a new tab, get in there, sign up. You know if you play, you can unlock a special JTF outfit for use when the full game launches. That's right, sign up. Oh, we gotta keep going. Okay folks, thedivisionresurgence.com, you know where to go, you're all set. Okay. Before we get to our final game, it wouldn't be Division Day without a look at how the characters and stories of The Division are expanding beyond the games in a variety of creative ways. Like the new webtoon coming next year that tells the story of a teacher in Houston, Texas, whose watch lights up with the telltale orange glow as the dollar flu outbreak spreads. You'll be able to follow their journey as they make unlikely allies and encounter dangerous new factions far from the East Coast. And coming later this year, you can bring some division art into your own home with these extensively detailed collectible action figures of Caleb Dunn and Brian Johnson, two agents who were featured in the original E3 reveal of The Division 2. There's also a bevy of Division comics, audio stories, books, and more available right now. And you can learn all about them in our article on everything you need to know from today's show on news.ubisoft.com. Welcome to Silver Creek, a sweet little town in middle America. You know the kind. Pumpkin patches, apple pies, and the best damn cup of coffee you'll ever have. Silver Creek was perfect, up until it wasn't. The green poison changed everything for everyone. It started in New York on Black Friday, the biggest shopping day of the year. They called it the dollar flu because it spread on money. The virus knew no boundaries. No matter where it hit, the bodies piled up. And when it spread to Silver Creek, the result was the same. Death. I'm Division Agent Mackenzie Reed. Originally from Kansas, I was stationed in Boston when the shit hit the fan after Black Friday. I left Boston and came to Silver Creek looking for Killian Tower, my commander. Well, he was my commander until recently. For reasons unknown, he disavowed the Division and is now a rogue agent. Killian betrayed my team and murdered them. He gunned them down and fled. No clues, no motive. Only a bloody trail for me to follow. That trail has led me to Silver Creek. I wasn't prepared for what I found. I wanted answers, but all I got was more questions. Why is the virus different here? Why did Killian murder the team he proudly commanded? And why is he amassing an army of Reapers in Silver Creek? Everything I've seen tells me that Silver Creek's at the heart of something big. I can't do this alone, Agent. I need your help. What you just saw was the cinematic intro to the Division Heartland. Set in the mysterious Midwestern town of Silver Creek, Heartland is a free-to-play PvEVP survival action shooter in which you'll confront AI factions and other player squads as you explore all the strange goings-on by light of day and fight to survive in the dark of night. Now, let's delve a little bit more into the gameplay, the systems, the setting of The Division Heartland. 
I've got a developer diary here to show you, and if you watched Ubisoft Forward in September, you may recognize the first little bit of it. But trust me, there is a lot more you haven't seen that I'm gonna show you now. Now, now. Hey everyone, we're so excited to show you Heartland, an all new standalone adventure in the Division universe. The teams poured their heart into this game and we can't wait to share it with you. Welcome to Silver Creek. Heartland's a free-to-play survival action shooter set in the Division universe that features streamlined survival gameplay and a beautiful new world to explore, filled with dynamic PvEVP gameplay. In Heartland, you play as a Division agent, given the task of protecting Silver Creek, a small town in Middle America. It's your job to keep the town safe from enemy factions, rogue agents, and a deadly contamination. Heartland explores what happened to small town America when the green poison was unleashed on the world. While major metropolitan centers got aid from agencies like Sarah in The Division, what help did the Heartland get? This game ties directly into the timeline and introduces all new characters and storylines to the franchise. I'm Keith Evans, creative director and Heartland at Red Storm Entertainment. Hi, I'm Taylor Epperly. I'm the associate game director on Heartland. I'm really excited for folks to see what the world of The Division looks like in small town America. Hi, I'm Carrie Bland, community developer on Heartland, and I can't wait for our players to see all the hard work and dedication the team has put in. We've spent a year in closed tests building on the experience, responding to the feedback we received, and have evolved towards a truly unique and exciting take on survival PvEVP gameplay. Heartland launches with a robust experience for players on day one. The player's first task is to help Mackenzie Reed get Silver Creek's base of operations back up and running. Players will be tasked with completing a set of missions and projects, all focused on the goals of exploring the town and gathering the supplies necessary to help prepare the base of operations. Every mission completed gives players the tools and strength necessary to survive. Silver Creek is a hostile environment filled with deadly contamination, roaming enemy hordes, and the looming threat of sickness and dehydration. Players will have to be prepared if they hope to survive a full day in the town. As day turns to night, Silver Creek is sent into high alert. The survival threat increases and dangerous PvEVP from rogue players and AI is introduced. Night is a deadly sandbox filled with unexpected threats, but there is that constant carrot of great rewards. As players progress, they unlock the ability to select one of three active classes. Every class brings something unique to the table, from the survivalist ability to highlight loot behind walls, to the weapons expert ability to craft and deploy an assault turret. Combining these classes in a squad helps you overcome Silver Creek's toughest challenges. Where one teammate might be falling behind, you really want to make sure that you're picking up that weight. Talking together and working as a true unit is the best way to make sure you're successful in Silver Creek. Heartland features a deadly and unpredictable contamination that makes every trip into Silver Creek unique. To help you in your journey, you'll be able to fabricate supplies, prepare your go bag for each new day, making sure you can achieve even the toughest goals. The contamination shapes the areas of the map that are easily accessible, and using a filter protects agents from the contamination, but the filter depletes pretty quickly inside the contaminated areas. So depending on how many filters you have on hand, you might decide to head into a contaminated area and get some loot that other folks passed up. There's also the ever-present threat of dehydration. Dehydration can slow you down, so you really have to keep an eye out for fresh, non-contaminated water when you're out in Silver Creek. Try to be as prepared as possible. You're gonna wanna set yourself up for success out there. But if you do find yourself a little underprepared, hopefully you have a teammate that'll let you crawl inside their backpack. Who knows, maybe they have juice boxes in there. In Silver Creek, Shade Agents are using the Rocket Rink and Abandoned Roller Skating Rink as their base of operations. For the first time in the Division, the entire base of operations is a shared space. You can socialize, form a group, customize your character, and prep for your next operation. Each session begins and ends in the base of operations, and you'll be talking to Carmelita, Kevin, and Mackenzie quite often. Each time players exfiltrate back to their base of operations, they take the materials and gear they've collected and store it in their personal armory to help them prepare for future days in the town. 
When you're going up against rogue agents, you kind of get into a bit of a cat or mouse situation. For me, I'm definitely more of a mouse. You don't have to worry about rogue agents if they can't see you. There's a couple different strategies you can use against rogue players. I love using Heartland's class skills to set up ambushes, coordinating with my teammates to make sure we're repairing our armor as needed. And then when the shooting's done, I love looking through their loot and taking all the good stuff. Heartland will be a living game. The stories we tell on day one are just the beginning. We can't wait for players to dive in and take this journey with us. We're thrilled to take the next step as we enter our testing phase. Our community team will be looking at feedback shared across social channels and on our official forums, while we evolve our game together with our community, shaping the long-term Heartland experience. The team is committed to creating the best possible experience for our players, and the community is invaluable in helping make that happen. I really think we've created something that the original survival players will recognize, while also innovating with open world operations, dynamic contamination. The team here at Redstorm is proud and feel we're really onto something. Heartland feels fresh and distinct, while still feeling at home alongside the other amazing games in this universe. Thank you for taking this journey with us. We can't wait to have you join us in Silver Creek. If you want to get your hands on the Division Heartland, sign up now for a chance to get into the next testing phase at thedivisionheartland.com. If you're chosen, you'll be granted five invites to share with five people you'd trust to squad up with and explore Silver Creek. You could also give them to five people you don't trust and bring a little chaos into your life. Get yourself on the list either way and keep an eye out for more news this summer. When you play The Division Heartland, The Division Resurgence, and The Division 2, you'll be able to show your shade street cred with cross-game rewards. Each game will grant you a reward you can redeem in each other game, which makes for... rewards. Folks, Year 5 of The Division 2 starts in early June. Signups are open now for upcoming playtests for the Division Resurgence and the Division Heartland. I'm Chris Waters, and on behalf of the Ubisoft folks working worldwide to bring you new stories, adventures, and challenges in the world of the Division, thank you for watching.